What's up guys, it's Jochen aka Leo Demos with a brand new series because I have decided it is time that I take you guys on a trip around the world and show you some lesser known wonder kits. So I'm not talking about the usual suspects, you won't see any Hollands or Jude Bellinghams in this series. However, I'm hoping that I can show you some players you've never even seen before. In today's video we are going to start out in beautiful Scandinavia, but there is lots more to come, Africa, South America, you name it. If that is something you are interested in, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It massively helps me out as a creator. That being said, let's go. Now, first of all, let me show you how I tackled these episodes. For each episode, I started up a new save as manager of Liverpool in the Premier League. Why Liverpool? Simply because I want to have a good indication of the star ratings of those players and the transfer values. The next thing I did is go to the custom database option and select the regions I want to focus on for each and every video. In this case, Scandinavia was not really an option I could choose. So I simply went for Northern Europe and Northern Eastern Europe. Simple, right? First of all, we're going to have a look at how the player starts out in this save. And then I'm going to simulate for 12 seasons. Why 12, you might wonder? Well, all the players that I have selected are between 16 and 20 years old. So after 12 seasons, they should be in their prime or maybe even slightly beyond that. But at least then we'll have a good understanding on how their careers went. With that being said, let's meet our first player. Kicking off the entire series is Swedish guy Yassin Ayari, 17 years old, starts out in FM22 at AIK. He's valued between 200k and 2 million. And if I look at this profile, except for the fact that he can play pretty much on every position on the pitch, I don't see anything that really stands out. His determination is not bad with a 13, could be higher though. Work rate 10, technique 13, I'll give him that. Nah, I don't know, but you know what? Let's just have a look within 12 seasons how Mr. Ayari develops. Well, what do you know? Yasin Ayari ends up in 2033 um, at Burnley. So let's have a look. He's 20 year, 20, wow, 29 years old now. He's still Swedish. Um, duh. 21 caps, two goals. He is valued between 12 and a half and 19 million. His star ratings went up obviously but not that much the player traits alone plays one twos dictates tempo likes to switch ball to wide areas cuts inside from left wing that screams wide playmaker indeed and like regular playmaker in his case probably advanced playmaker also on the number 10 position but let's have a look at his career i think he did pretty well to be honest so he started out at aika went to inter milan in 2024 for 6.25 million, which is still okay, I think. And then, and I am predicting we're going to see this a lot in the series. They, they go to a big club, they don't play him, and they kind of get their development messed up. I'm not saying that's exactly what happened to this guy, but mm, didn't play that much at Inter Milan, then went for free to Burnley. And there he again got some playing time. So I guess he did okay. First touch is awesome. Composure is awesome. Vision is awesome. Is he a world-class midfielder? No. But I don't know if we're going to find any of those in this series. Let's go to the next guy. Following Ayari, we have another central midfielder. Alexander Andresson. He's Norwegian. 16 years old. Starts out in the FM22 at Stabæk. I think that's how you pronounce it. And he's kind of the same value as Ayari, being between 250k and 2.5 million. If I compare him with Ayari, I think he is somewhat better at the beginning of the game, although his physicals are also not the best, but he is 16 years old. I mean, come on. He has one player trade already, cuts inside from the right wing, so I'm guessing, since he's also left-footed, this could be an inside forward or an inverted winger in the future. We'll see. Bravery is good, determination is awesome, work rate is higher than Ayari's. So I'm really eager to see how this guy turns out to be within 12 seasons. Mr. Alexander Andresson ended up in my save at Roma. He's now 28 years old, 
uh, capped for Norway, scored six goals already, valued between 25 and 38 million. I mean, I just said that we're probably not going to find a world-class midfielder, but this is coming close, man. Do not forget, these star ratings are relative to my Liverpool squad, which is still a pretty darn good squad in 2033 uh, even. So, let's have a look. Passing, vision, technique, all 15 or higher, which is awesome sauce. Determination, 15. Work rate, 14. Remember, he's only 28, so probably, especially his mentals are not done developing. His physicals probably are. He's a perfectionist, which is awesome. And I think, man, these player traits, look at this, gets forward whenever possible. Plays one twos, likes ball played into feet, hashtag playmaker. Likes to switch ball to wide areas, also for a playmaker, cuts inside from the right wing. So you could play him, since he's left-footed, as an inverted winger or an inside forward, but I think he's more suited to be a central midfielder. This is a good player, let's be honest here. He is at Roma, let's have a look at his career. So as I said, he started out at Stabæk, and went to Juventus. Same thing as that first guy, but... Luckily, he only stayed there for one season. Well, two, actually. Because they didn't play him, once again. And then he went to Porto for 7 million. I think this did wonders for his development. Because then he had his big boy move to Chelsea. But kind of the same thing happened as the Juventus thing. Didn't play him that much. And then he went to Roma for 14.75 million. For a second guy in the whole series, I'm kind of happy with this. Number three on the list, a Danish 18-year-old, starts out at FC Nordsjælland, um, valued somewhat higher as the first two guys, between 2.7 and 5.4 million. Again, a central midfielder, don't blame me, blame the game, but also again, nothing that really stands out. Determination 13, work rate 13, I keep coming back to these stats because they are really important for development, that's why. But, I mean, Technique 14 is okay. It's good, actually, for an 18-year-old. As is Passing 14, first, first touch. First touch? You get it. So, I'm thinking Playmaker. Again, let's have a look within 12 seasons. Our friend Chukwuani is now 30 years old. Um, capped for uh, Denmark, of course. Valued between 12.5 and, and 15 million, which is okay. But I am kind of liking his mentals, to be honest. He has a three-star uh, current ability right now as an advanced playmaker. Which kind of, I mean, makes sense. Because passing vision and technique, again, 15 or higher, is awesome. As his first touch, he is a fairly professional professionality. What? Personality, even, by now. No player traits. He's very agile. Anticipation is awesome. Composure is good. Off the ball. I mean... Again, three-star star rating compared to the Liverpool players, so bear that in mind, always. I think he did well. Ended up at Montpellier. Let's have a look at his career. Once again, the same thing happened. Started out at Nordschelland, went to PSG after, what, one season for 3.3 million, which is nothing. I mean, especially for PSG. Got dumped in their B team, as you can see right here. Then went, to loan to, uh, went on loan even to Antwerp in Belgium. And then made his final move. Well, final. How old is he now? 30? Nah. Uh, made the move to Montpellier for not even 1 million. And they played him again. So I guess this kind of bumped up his attributes and whatnot. Again, I'm not saying he's a world-class midfielder or even playmaker. But I mean, if you, if you saw how he started out in the game, this is pretty cool. Number four of these Scandinavian top secret wonder kits, and this one, man, I am telling you, damn. I had never heard of this guy. Could be me. It kind of depends how big your database is uh, when you start up a new save. But I've, I'd never seen this guy. Williot Swedberg, Swedish once again, 17 years old, starts out at Hammarby, valued between 325k even and 3.2 million. And... Again, nothing really special. He is a model citizen, which is awesome. Determination, 14. Uh, work rate, 11. Again, important for the development of these youngsters. 
physicals are better than the other guys, I think we have a future superstar on our hands. Oh, damn. I think we actually have found a world-class midfielder, man. Jesus, Mr. Swedberg is now at Chelsea, valued between 51 million and 76 million. But not only that, look at the star ratings and especially look at it, look at his um, attributes, man. First touch, passing, technique, vision, all 15 or higher, off the ball, determination is 15, model citizen. These player traits, rarely have I had to scroll down to see all the traits. Let's have a look. Likes the round keeper, comes deep to get ball, plays one twos, dictates tempo, looks for pass rather than attempting to score, gets crowd going, awesome. Likes to switch ball to wide areas. A lot of these player traits are very suited for a playmaker, man. So, damn, fitness is good, stamina is good, agility. Let's look at his career. So he started out at Hammerby, once again went to Juventus, Jesus Christ, am I the only one seeing a pattern here? Went to Juventus for 5.5 million, got loaned out, got dumped in the under 23s, then had a couple of those seasons where he didn't, basically didn't play. But then a giant move to Dortmund for 51 million and there he did play, look at this season, 15 assists, 8 times man of match awards, wow. And then went to Chelsea for 66 million guacamoles. So far, I think this is the guy. We're not done yet, I know. But so far, this is the guy I would highly recommend to have a look at, guys. Number five on the list, the first non-central midfielder. Thank God. Nikolai Skoglund, a striker, 18 years old, from Norway, starts out at Sporting in Portugal. Valued between 130k and 1.3 million. It immediately strikes me that his determination is high, 16, work rate 12, again, not the highest. He's 6 foot 2, target forward. I'm not really seeing it yet, although his heading and jumping reach are certainly not the worst, as is his strength. I wonder where this guy will end up after 12 seasons. The only striker in this episode ended up at AC Milan. He is valued, wow, between 51 and 77 million. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, let's have a look at his striker positions. Three and a half stars, once again, relative to the Liverpool squad. Finishing 15, heading 15, jumping reach 14. Get that man on near post corners. He's a resolute personality. Player traits, likes to try to beat the offside trap. Awesome. And also extra awesome because he's fast, pace 15, and plays 1-2s. Especially his mentals and of course his physicals really impress me. He's still 6 foot 2. Is he an actual target forward? I don't know. But at least he is a physical beast. Am I right? Let's have a look at his career. Wow. He stayed at Sporting for what? 6, 7 more seasons? Went to Bayern Munich for 21 million. He even played there, and that got him a transfer to Chelsea for 45 million. And although he also, I, I mean, we can't say that he didn't play, but he digressed in value, and then went to AC Milan for 22 million, where he had an awesome season last year. So, since this is the only striker in the series, well, not in the series, in this episode, I think he is at least worth checking out. The last wonder kid I really wanted to show you and I know probably most of you already know him. I sure know him because he is at this point uh, freshly transferred to Club Brugge in my home nation of Belgium. But I mean 16 years old, Norwegian, already valued quite high because of that recent transfer probably. But look at this man, he is a winger, he's kind of two-footed. And he already has the player traits, tries tricks, and likes to beat opponent repeatedly. So he's kind of a dribbler. Which kind of reflects in his dribbling stat of 13. Technique is not bad. Flair 16. That screams inside forward. I know in real life, a lot of people expect a lot from this young man. And I'm really eager to see where he turns up after 12 seasons in my save. Antonio Nusa ended up at Newcastle. And he is awesome. Period. He is valued between 69 and 87 million pounds. And look at his ratings, man. Look at his 
uh, attributes. Damn, dribbling 17, first touch 17, free kick taking even 16. Long shots, technique, you name it. He's still pretty fast, of course, because he's only 28 years old. He is capped for Norway, 53 caps, 6 goals. Star rating wise, the best player in the video. So let's have a look at his career. Stayed at Club Brugge for what, 7, 8 more seasons, then went to Chelsea. They even played him there, but then loaned him out to Monaco and then made his absolute big boy move last season to Newcastle. So maybe if we give this guy a couple more years, because I mean, he's got some prime years in him, right? This could be an absolute superstar. Sign him. So there you have it guys, the first episode of this Top Secret Wonder Kid series is over. If I have missed a Wonder Kid, if you know one and you want to help everyone out, because that's why we're doing this, right? Leave his name down in the comment section, tell me a little bit about him, and I promise I will check him out. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this, because I guarantee you it is coming. I can't thank you enough guys for still being here. Peace out, see you in the next one.